This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Today we're not in After Effects, we're actually in Premiere Pro for another quick tip. And today we're talking about retiming your music and audio tracks to match the duration of your sequence or clip your edit or whatever it is automatically using Adobe Sensei. Now this feature is actually called the Remix feature and it was available in Adobe Audition for a while. And in Premiere, if you wanted to use it, you had to send your track to Adobe Audition to do that retiming feature. But now it's natively in Premiere, you can use it directly within Premiere without sending it to Adobe Audition and it is pretty seamless. And this can literally save you hours of cutting, rippling, adding fades and cross fades and previewing to try to cut a piece of music to fit the exact length of your scene or edit. So for example, I just finished a Dojo TV episode here and this is kind of like the rough cut of it. And I wanted to add kind of a background music track, but obviously there are no tracks that fit my exact project length exactly. So the tracks that I normally use are around like two to three minutes. And so that's usually less than the length of a typical Dojo TV episode. So it'd be something like this here. And in the past, what I would do is, since it's kind of just like background music, I don't really care about it too much. I would have to go ahead and just copy it and we'll just paste it back in and we'll duplicate this. I'll, I'll maybe trim this part of it here to a good point and find a good stopping point right here and kind of drag it like this. And then, you know, I'm still short, so I need to do this again and just paste it again, find a good, you know, cutting point again and just kind of keep on duplicating, extending it and adding it in like this. And then I would have to kind of add a crosses all between these two and make sure it sounds good and play it back. And that way you can kind of fake stretch the audio track to make it seem a little bit longer. And if it's a background music and you kind of cross dissolve it, most people can't really notice it. But this process can be tedious if your timeline is like 10 minutes long or 15 minutes long for whatever reason. So instead of doing all that manual work, what you can do is delete this. And let's say I wanted to add this track right here into my Dedra TV edit. And as you can see, once again, it's short. By the way, all these clips are provided by Artlist. They're not sponsoring this video, but you know, I get a lot of my tracks from them. They're great. They have a fantastic library. Check it out down below. So if you're in the latest version of Premiere, go into your timeline tools and this will probably be set to like a ripple edit tool or something like that. Just click and hold and you'll see a new tool called the remix tool right here. And just go and click that. And it's as easy as just clicking your audio track and just dragging it to the duration that you want. So if I wanna drag it all the way to the end of my project, just hit okay. And Premiere Pro is gonna do its thing. So basically it is powered by Adobe Sensei, which is kind of like their artificial intelligence kind of engine. And basically how it works is that it analyzes your track. It looks at several things like the beat and the tempo of your track, and it finds the path of highest confidence based on these factors. And it attempts to create a seamless remix right here. So it adds all the cuts and cross fades automatically without you having to do anything basically. And so as you can see in a few seconds, we have our track, it's been extended. And basically it's added all these little cut points right here. Now the most important part is, you know, how seamless is it? You know, can we hear the cut points or does it sound pretty seamless? And so if I just kind of play this track, you can kind of see these little squiggly lines here is kind of where the remix tool kind of added their own little edit cuts. So I think that transition sounded pretty seamless. Let's go to the next one here. So pretty freaking seamless. And I pick this track because it has a very uh, strong kind of beat. And so if it's off, you'll be able to kind of hear it if it's off tempo or whatever. But that was more of an instrumental beat, which can be kind of easy for the algorithm. You know, how does it work if we have vocals, right? Because some tracks have vocals and that can kind of trip things up. So I have this second track. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to the timeline and I'm gonna just trim it to the vocal part so y'all can hear what it sounds like with the vocals. My rain officially started. I'm working so I never see a drought again. I lost and motivated me for. So yeah, so that's what the track kind of sounds like. And so as you can see, it has the vocals. So if we remix it and retime it and it sounds off, you should be able to kind of hear that edit. So let's see how well um, this kind of remix tool works with some vocals like this. I'll go ahead and select my remix tool once again. And let's just go ahead and extend the time a little bit and see how it does. And as you can see, it instantly creates um, a remix and it has three edit points here. So I never see a drought again. I lost and motivated me for a minute started. I'm working so I never see a drought again. So you can kind of hear the edit, but the actual beat and tempo is pretty on point still. So you're still having the beat sync up and line up, which I think is a really, really important part here. Tell me who allowed a man. I lost and motivated me for a minute. Not bad. Third edit. Who allowed a man? I lost and motivated me for a minute through in a turmoil, but I found the list. 
So overall, not too bad. I mean, considering it has a lot of beats and snares and vocals and everything, it doesn't really sound too bad. It can kind of help you in a pinch, especially if you have a lot of this to do in your project. So as you guys notice, whenever we use the Remix tool, it brought up the Essential Sounds panel, and we actually have a few parameters that we can actually mess with with the Remix feature. So for an example, we have our method, which is the Remix method, um, and then we have our target duration. Now, whenever we use our Remix tool and we drag our clip, it automatically changes the duration. But if you know that you want like a 10 second track, or you know if you want your track to be a minute and 35 seconds, for example, you can actually manually type this in, and it's gonna do its best to find a version within five seconds of the target duration, which is why it says plus or minus five right here. And it'll kind of spit out the remix duration, but usually it's pretty on point with what you want. So this segment parameter is basically, it controls the number of cuts and crossfades made within a remix. So if you lower the value, it makes as few cuts as necessary to get the edit that you want. And a higher value gives the algorithm more flexibility and more cuts to adapt the dynamic song with a lot of your segments to match, you know, whatever direction you're trying to do. So if you know your track has a lot of variations, a lot of points where it's kind of like low volume, high volume, vocal, different beats, drops, and melodies, then you may want to increase the number of segments to give it more room to work with and cut. The last parameter is the variation, and basically you can quickly adjust this to kind of preview alternative remixes. So you have options for melodic and harmonic, and so you can focus more on the melodic main line of the track or the harmonic elements of the track. So for example, if you have stuff like solo instruments or vocals and you want to focus on those main lines, the melodic aspect of your track, then you may want to turn this down to more melodic right here. Or if your track is more like background music, orchestral stuff, or instrumentals, you may favor more harmonic variations you can actually increase this to the harmonic zone. It'll kind of mix up your edit a little bit. Now, some things to keep in mind with Remix is that it will always try to keep the beginnings and ends of your track. And it'll always attempt to remix in the middle, at least as of the time of this video recording. So if you want to isolate and keep a certain part of the track, keep this in mind and kind of isolate it, and then it'll kind of extend in the middle. Lastly, Remix does kind of analyze the vocals of your track, but it doesn't understand the actual words of the vocals in the track. So sometimes it may mix up the first few lines of one phrase or verse with another line of another verse. And of course, a sentence is not gonna make sense really, so just something to keep in mind. Before I go, I wanna give a quick thanks to our sponsor over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing teams to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 25-hour support, and best of all, use the promo code DOJO at checkout. You can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojo, so check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that is the remix feature within Premiere Pro. I think it's a very, very handy feature. It can save you a lot of time. Try it out in your next project. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.